I want to begin this session by asking you a very simple question. Whenever there is a volcano eruption, there is a blast. So what happens 10-15 days just before that? Can anyone try to think? There are small signals, right? There are small signals that happen just in those 10-15 days. There could be smoke in the sky. There could be small uh, shakes that can be observed by people just staying nearby to it. So the main bottom line is that there are signals that indicate a bigger risk happening, a bigger blast happening. In today's session, those signals will be the red flags, the blast will be the financial crime and the responsibility of detecting those small, small signals will be of the banks. So this is the crux of what we will be doing today and how will we achieve that thing? Because of course, we also need to figure out a way to detect those things. So we will be detecting those things by using artificial intelligence. That will be the subject of today's session. Artificial intelligence, financial crime, risk management. Okay, so I've just discussed of these red flags. So a person's suspicious behavior, a person's suspicious behavior, if it goes undetected, if a person is committing a crime, suspicious behavior, matlab, crime se pehle wo kuch suspicious behaviors karta hai. Uh, suspicious behavior ke example ye bhi bahut tarah examples ho sakte hain usse so if any suspicious behavior is happening if it goes undetected then it may give him the person this the person that see i am so uh, no one is checking me so then it gives him the motivation to conduct a even bigger crime that is what i'm trying to say and it is possible that he may get away with that also so that is the situation when banks are fined by regulators because that is a situation when a financial crime happens and if it goes undetected the banks are fined and as a result of all these fines we are discussing all these concepts of how to prevent financial crime compliance compliance department have the responsibility of doing that so let us talk about the role of artificial intelligence because i just mentioned above that we will be trying to we will try to prevent those times using artificial intelligence so what is the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning so banks have actually combined now human expectation machine learning analytics and artificial intelligence a combination of all these things to prevent financial crimes because organizations can actually detect potential frauds by flagging off the risks so before the damage is done there are some red flags that appear so in order to for that to happen artificial intelligence can be used because machines they actually can detect a few things let me give an example to you for example a person is trying to launder money and every month he's trying to deposit 48,000 or not every month daily so he's depositing 48,000 48,000 49,000 48,000 but there is a limit of 50,000 right so that way he's not doing anything wrong because he's not uh, committing anything wrong because he's following the law he's depositing every day 50,000 and the machine also can detect okay that's fine so such because there are so many transactions happening so machines my, my, because there are so many transactions happening the responsibility of the machines are to detect certain things right but what about things that are just going fine like this 50 50 uh, 49 48 48000 so then the machine these will go undetected by machines but then if a human is actually seeing observing them then he will think that yeah the response the the limit is 15 why is he only depositing 49 49 and that too continuously so now we need a system where the machine can tell that see these are small transactions happening and a human mind can actually say that see this is something wrong so then it needs to be checked if it is happy if it happens once or twice in a month it's fine but then if there's a series of those things happening then that needs to be checked and what if that person is actually trying to launder money what if it is intention is trying to launder money so if we are able to stop that by using artificial intelligence then uh, by using machine learning and human mind the efforts uh, the all these three things that banks are doing then it is possible that we can prevent that crime and the penalty that an institution 
my face so i have just simplified that thing by using a very small example and i've also told you that uh, why machine learning and human is actually important moving further we will now go to the technologies that are used to uh, the technologies of artificial intelligence that are used in this thing okay uh, the first of them is nlp and the second is graphic analytics nlp stands for native natural language processing natural language processing is nlp and the second one is graph analytics now we will not be discussing it separately as they actually go hand in hand so we will be talking about them together i will try to give you the technical meaning of what i am about to say and then i will try to explain that technical meaning with the help of examples okay what is nlp let me just read this out to you so nlp means by which the computer program study comprehends and designs derives meaning from human technology in a smart and useful way computer program hota hai wo meaning jo hai human language ka derive kar leta hai in a smart and useful way graph analytics is concerned with understanding structures in networks it is a method of mapping and exploring relationships between individuals and has been proven to be a powerful tool in the investigation of terrorist organizations helping to pinpoint the individuals not previously known to them or outside the network who are in fact persons of significance so jo log jo hai wo network ke bahar ke hain unko detect karne mein it actually helps right examples can be that they can be traders so traders now that were earlier not involved now then they have started joining hands and they have started working together so ye iska example dost hai how to detect those people uh ek aur example ke bare mein baat karte hain graph analytics ka process can be uh, so graph analytic process can reveal that for example a graph analytics ka jo process hai it can actually reveal that what actually is happening let me give you an example a is a person who is sending suspicious mail who is uh, basically sending a mail to a person b who is outside the company theek hai those mails contain suspicious code words chicken packing pork ab uh, ye thodi suspicious activity hai and the person is not ceasing it to any other person also so it is sending mails to b he is not ceasing it to anyone else and also b does not respond so this may appear to be a suspicious activity graph analytics ke through jo hame pata lag jayegi now later on it may be found that the person b a was sending all those mails so the person b turns out to be a chinese restaurant so in this case so in this case uh, we can close the case because it is obvious it is a very natural activity that we send mails because some restaurants say that you send us the order via mail because there is no confusion there is no problem so often sometimes that happens mail messages and all so that in that situation we can just close up the case but what if b turns out to be an actual person that in that in that case it can be a bit suspicious because then what do all those code words mean right chicken pork packaging all those things so then we can uh, continue we can pursue the case and uh, continue the further investigation and find out so i'm sure you have figured it out what i'm trying to say the red flags artificial intelligence ka jo hai purpose hi hai ki you know we have softwares machine learning ke through we have some red flags un red flags ko because there are so many transactions so un transact just to detect the suspicious ones there are these machine learning softwares they will give you red flags and you as an individual will have the responsibility now investigate whether that red flag was is fine whether there is a reason to investigate and if you feel that there is no reason to investigate that you can close the case that can be dis, uh, decision can be taken by human mind so a combination of these two things are used by financial institutions to detect and prevent financial crime so with this we come an end to this uh, very small session in the session you must have observed that i have tried to simplify the session Uh, the simplified a lot of words and i've tried to mention the technical words of this as such so whatever i've just told you in the last 2 to 5 minutes 
I will be just putting down the technical language in the description. Do have a look at that and let me know what do you prefer. Would you prefer me simplifying things in this kind of a way or would you prefer the technical language? Because often that is the reason the usage of such technical language which is uh, which makes it difficult for those who are at the beginning level. So do let me know that. But on the other hand, those who are working in this field, they cannot talk in such uh, simplified language on a regular basis. So on a regular basis, technical words, once you start working, you will get a habit of using these technical words on a regular basis. So with this, we come to an end to today's session. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel to in order to get all the timely updates because we are discussing the series of whole financial crime and it is very difficult to compile it in two or three videos. Therefore, I have compiled these small, small, small sessions so that a person who's trying to get a job in the industry or tries or is wanting to know about the subject, it is easier for that person to go through all these sessions and get to know about the subject. So do, do, do hit the subscribe button in order to stay connected. Thank you so much for watching.